Hey everyone, so the big question that is on everyone's mind this early morning is, is YouTube still worth it even without monetization? And this came about because uh, I'm sure many of you, and if you haven't, you're going to get it soon, uh, got those emails that went out last night from YouTube and, uh, and saw, the, uh, saw the news reports on how yet they changed and upped the monetization requirements yet again. So for a while, uh, for a little bit, it was you had to have 10,000 views uh, across the channel in order to be eligible for monetization. And now they've changed that to uh, you need 4,000 watching watch hours per year and at least 1,000 subscribers. So they're doing everything they can to uh, make sure most channels aren't monetizable and they they have actually their own internal good business reasons for doing this uh, seems like a good idea to them and and if you're watching this video by, by now uh if this video has been up for a while maybe uh maybe it actually changed yet again and they made it even harder right so uh so you probably searched as youtube you know still worth it if you can't make any money right so so that is the big question and there are, and the answer is it depends it depends on what your goals with YouTube is so I'm gonna give I'm gonna give some quick run-throughs of scenarios and uh, to help you make that decision and and uh, well let's, let's quickly quickly go over what YouTube is good for and what it's not and and to be blunt the answer to the question if is YouTube still worth it without monetization for most people the answer is going to be no uh, because YouTube is not a revenue model despite what you hear of stories and the press and the PR moves that they've tried to make it it is not a viable revenue model and especially now especially now so if your goal uh, if your goal is to only only if your only goal is to make money off of YouTube videos uh, my guy tells me don't bother don't it's 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 just not worth it and most YouTube creators even after they're eligible for monetization as as you may actually know from your own experience you're not making that much money right unless you're making thousands of dollars a month and those those that I do know that are making thousands of dollars a month or sometimes more are working so hard uh, after their YouTube videos that if they put half the effort they put into the YouTube videos, they could have been a doctor, right? Or they could, literally, I'm not kidding, they could probably cure a disease or, or develop a groundbreaking app that changes society and makes them millions, not just, you know, the, the quote-unquote salary they're getting off the YouTube vids. It's not, it's, not, uh, it's not an efficient revenue model, even when it's working. And for most people, if you're making less than $500 a month, I would say forget it. There's so many, there's a lot easier ways. I mean, my God, it just, if you put half the effort into what it takes to, to crank out YouTube content and follow their rules, uh, you could be a real estate mogul. I'm not kidding you. We even with like, you can figure out these no money down deals and, and, and make money. If your goal is to make money, YouTube is, is kind of, if that's your primary purpose, YouTube's not going to be working for you. And it's, it probably hasn't been so far, and it's definitely not going to be now. All right, so uh, what I actually like to use YouTube for, now the flip side, uh, is YouTube still worth it? Uh, for me, I'm going to say yes, and it's not because of revenue uh, per se. It's because YouTube is still an excellent platform to host content that you are embedding elsewhere. And, and a lot of other services that are actually not as good as YouTube is doing that charge money, charge a lot of money actually, these platforms where you can actually upload your video and host and get analytic analytics and get good embed codes that work all the time with, with you know, 24 seven uptime and, and the, the videos are up nearly instantly, right? So, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, YouTube is a good platform for hosting content that you are going to embed anywhere, either on a blog or in emails or in forums or, or, or sharing. Uh, it's still really good for that and it's free. So if you look at it that way, technically you're saving a lot of money by using YouTube as a hosting platform. 
and uh, and actually, you may not even get good analytics because a lot of a lot of my videos actually go out as a podcast, and this is how people are doing the podcast, and it doesn't show up on my YouTube views or my YouTube analytics. It shows up in my uh, my podcast, my feed burner and analytics, and um, so people are actually and and I wasn't monetizing those anyway, really. So people are accessing this content on another platform even though YouTube is hosting it. And a lot more people are, are watching on that platform than I think is going on on YouTube. So that's a, that's a good reason to stick with YouTube. Another good reason to stick with YouTube is if you, if you obsessively just enjoy making videos and you can't help yourself, right? It's, it's a bit addictive for some folks, for some folks. There are a lot of people, it's a lot of work, but if you, really, really like expressing yourself in videos and you're gonna just make videos and put them out there anyway, whether anybody sees them or not, or whether you make money off them or not, if you're gonna do that anyway, you're gonna do that anyway. So why stop, right? So if, if it's if it's an uncontrollable passion of yours to just create videos and stick them out there, uh, you know, you're obviously gonna still do that and YouTube is still a great platform for that. And, and then for a business perspective, again, and this is where most people go wrong, is they look at YouTube as a content marketing strategy. Uh, so if you have another business, you're going to make YouTube videos and try to drive traffic from YouTube videos to your business. Um, I mean, I've got a URL up on up on this uh, video, right, as you can see, right? So, uh, you know, that's that's fine, but in in general, there are a lot more efficient ways for to market. Uh, so as content marketing is a misnomer. I think that in general is kind of a dead thing. It should be public relations, content public relations, where YouTube or any video platform or content platform works is a, uh, as a public relations tool to just kind of get the message out, to get the word out, to craft your image and control the messaging that's going out to the public of your business. And that's where it's most important. Not and it, it it's not it shouldn't be about direct revenue. You shouldn't be looking at an ROI, a return on investment of your of your YouTube or content marketing strategy in general on any platform because you're you're mo you're just going to be disappointed. Most people are going to be disappointed. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people that aren't, uh, but for the most part, most people are going to be disappointed. It's not a it's not a viable marketing strategy. It is an excellent public relations strategy, however. All right. And that being said, YouTube is not the only game in town. So depending on what kind of content you have, uh, you know, uh, certain types of videos do better on Meta Cafe or Daily Motion or Vimeo. Uh, Vimeo, it, it's interesting. So. On Meta Cafe, uh, you know, if it's a humorous video, I see a lot more hits uh, on videos that I put up there. On Daily Motion, if it's music related, it seems to do better. On Vimeo, Vimeo is actually pretty good. The catch with Vimeo is they're always trying to upsell you on a paid platform, so you're actually they actually limit the amount of uploads you can make or and uh, and and whatnot. So. Uh, and they're always trying to upsell you, which uh, which isn't great, but you know that's their model, and they do uh, they you know you do get views on Vimeo, right? But again, none of those things are monetizable. What I just said, and there's other platforms that I haven't mentioned, and I haven't mentioned them on purpose because they seem a little shady. So I'm not uh, I don't know yet. The jury's still out on some of those other platforms, but you know, Meta Cafe, Daily Motion, Vimeo, and YouTube. Those those are some for pretty good games in town for actually as a public relations strategy, not a monetization strategy. So to recap real quick, if you're still with me and hopefully you're still with me and need those watch hours, <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully you're still with me just to quickly recap, um, reasons to not still YouTube. You, reasons to just give up on YouTube and forget about it altogether would be if you're looking at YouTube as a revenue strategy, or a direct marketing strategy. If your end goal is money, it has anything to do with money whatsoever, forget YouTube. All right, so reasons to stick with YouTube if your end goal is, you know, you're gonna make videos anyway because you can't help yourself because you love it and you're obsessed with it, uh, then 
sure, go for it. That's that's reasons to stick with YouTube. Then the revenue or not revenue doesn't matter. And as a public relations strategy, you might as well get get it up on YouTube. Uh, that's great. And that may or may not uh, translate into revenue. It's it, but you really shouldn't be worried on a worried about a return on investment. Um, again, it's you're you're crafting an image which is part of a whole global business. Uh, more vast universal business operation than just focusing on I'm, I'm going to do an effort and I expect a monetary return directly from that effort, if that makes sense. And then, of course, the um, the hosting, you know, if you, you can use YouTube as a free hosting platform. So, again, those are two reasons to drop YouTube and three reasons to stick with YouTube, although they're not weighted equally. It all depends on your personal goals and interest. Uh, hopefully this helped you uh, make a decision. Feel free to subscribe. I'm still going to be putting up on YouTube. Uh, maybe not as often as uh, you know YouTube wants people to put stuff on there, but uh, I'm, I'm still going to on occasion keep putting stuff up here and you know anytime I discover new information I will let you know about it so feel free to subscribe or you can visit the link on the video uh, if you are moving off YouTube and want to stay in touch in other ways alright